you know, at Mastering Diabetes, we like to talk about the power of eating a low fat plant-based whole food diet to maximize your insulin sensitivity. But beyond that, that's just one tool. Yeah. We've been focusing a lot on exercise and the, the benefit of, of using your body. And it is truly the most powerful insulin sensitizer known to man. If you go out and exercise right now, the boost in insulin sensitivity that you're going to get over the course of the next one to two hours is something that your diet can, cannot fully accomplish. So tell me what, and what, what, what is going on when you exercise and you're using those muscles that allows that ins insulin sensitivity to increase? What's going on there? So the simplest way to think about it is that when you exercise, you're, you're forcing, you're from a mechanical perspective, you're forcing your muscles to contract and elongate thousands of times. And as a result yeah. of doing that, they start to deplete their own internal fuel stores. They start to deplete glycogen, which is stored inside, and they start to deplete the fatty acids, which have been stored inside of them over the course of time. Now, when this happens, these, this muscle tissue becomes so hungry for nutrients that the next time you eat food, your muscles are effectively saying, give me energy, I'm open for you to refill me, and they can do so using very small amounts of insulin. So in the pre-exercise state, if it might have taken 10 units of insulin in order to get a bunch of glucose inside, now after exercise, it could use uh, as little as four units of insulin and it can still import the same amount of glucose. So the insulin sensitivity is literally just a measure of how much glucose can you store for the same amount of insulin. And it's right. truly a mar remarkable process, you know, that we can see these large swings in insulin sensitivity just by integrating small amounts of exercise. And like you said, it feels as though you're sort of coming back to life all of a sudden. And it's, you know, it starts yeah. with a dietary change and then it can move into so many other aspects of life.